could, before, do a walk from one end of Cinque Terre, so from the most northern town all the way through all five towns to the most southern part. And there are many sections of that walk that are very popular, like the Lover's Walk, which was one we wanted to do. However, because of landslides, unfortunately, parts of the walk are now inaccessible. And so, although you can still do some of them, it's worth checking which ones are open if you're coming to do some hiking. So we're just leaving Carniglia now and we're setting out on our first hike in the Cinque Terre. Uh, we're on a route to the next town, so we're going to do three towns on this trek and we're taking uh, the, the normal route, the first route, um, along through the highlands. It's going to be beautiful views. I'm looking forward to it! Tonight we are running on the right track foot solid but uneven so I definitely think about your footwear if you're coming to do this hike the other thing which I think is quite a relief is that it's a mixture between shaded and exposed so you know if you need to catch that shade you can do there's also lots of steps so as always make sure you're prepared for that do wear good shoes don't step on the plants don't what don't observe signals and facilities build. <laughs> Don't leave your litter. Very, very good as well. Take your litter with you. Where's the fun in doing what you're told? I don't mind even though I lose control. There's lots of times actually where the trail's quite on the covered, um, which is nice for the shade, but then when it does open up, you have to take those moments to look out because the view is just stunning and of course that's why we're here, right? Baby agrees. It's, it's kicking. So you can see actually the trail that we've followed so far, just along there, all the way back to the town. So we're up here on the route to uh, Venaza and it's just a stunning view. And there's a little terrace bar um, just here, beautiful location. It's self-service. So as the rules say, the fittest amongst you go down and get the drinks. So Anna's gone to go and get the drinks, and I'm going to take a seat. We've got a lovely fresh strawberry peach and banana smoothie. A little way down the hill, and we discover we're actually halfway there. So, halfway along, stop at the bar, go up to the panoramic view, and get a nice cold lemonade slushy back on the road and so far it's all been downhill. You know what that means though don't you? Yep, that means that when we get to where we're going we then have to go uphill again. It's a welcome relief but I'm sure we're gonna be not very happy when we see the next uphill. Pay attention babe. I'm paying attention don't you worry. All right, we've just turned the corner and we can see just ahead of us, just there, our next town. This is apparently called Venaza. Not, not like that, I'm just checking with Nick whether that's right, Venaza? No idea. Okay, we think it's Venaza. Tell me why you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be. Okay, so we've tanked up on some pasta, lots of water, a little bit of something special for him. And uh, we're on to the next part of the trail. This will be about two hours. Where this starts is not that obvious. Um, we had to ask someone local where it was. It's kind of halfway down the main drag. It's a little side street. And straight away we're onto the stairs. We have stumbled upon a water tap at the top, which is nice, and a cat house. Never seen anything like this before. What is it? It's homes for cats. What? I know. 
something to note if you want to bring some food for the cats then they would welcome it but it does say only give them food in the morning as you can see behind us we have Vanessa where we've just come from uh, we've, we've come a long way um, these tracks are definitely not for the faint-hearted but at the same time if you can climb a lot of stairs so you'll probably be fine I mean it's a beautiful place but I do have one complaint some of these steps are so big this step is literally as high as my knee and it just makes it really hard do you agree Nicholas it is as high as your knee <sighs> hey we are hopefully nearing the end of this trail now because we're a bit hot and bothered and we're definitely done it is an absolute step fest and this particular part of the trail is very different in the sense that the path is all over the place and um, there's quite a lot of times the path is very narrow and you have some sort of fall off to the side now we're against a little babbling brook let me show you and look how narrow the path is there are some bits where it's completely overgrown with foliage and you're like ducking down and going through a little tunnel um yeah it's crazy very interesting steps after steps after steps and uh my calves are definitely burning now right so better concentrate baby give me all your love Fair to say we've done it and um, we're out back at the water and just ahead of us now we can see Rio Maggiore. <laughs> no, that's, that's like 10 miles away. Oh, what can we see? Monte Rosso. That's what I meant. That's what we can see. Why'd you have to go and